One of the biggest things about relationships is understanding the opposite sex. Men want to understand women and all kind of reasons. Sometimes just to, you know, figure out how to get time with them. Sometimes how to love them. Sometimes, you know, it's just different things that they're dealing with with the women that they are involved with. And women are, just like men, a mixed bag. Not all women are the same. I myself am a unique woman and I don't fall into a stereotype even though, of course, I'm probably put in one of them. And so, there are all kinds of women out here. And this is going to be a video for the men, of course, because it's about women. Now, men who love women, this is for you. Because it is really important to love women if you are going to be with one if you're going to get married if you're going to have a relationship with one it's really important to love us first and foremost i have to say that because sometimes it's not the case sometimes men have some issues with women and then they go forward in these relationships and connections when they really have to get to the root of whatever issue that they have with women before they can have any kind of success with a woman. All right. So, if, and I think a way to know if you're that kind of man who maybe you have some kind of issue with a woman is if you haven't been able to have a long relationship with one and you really desire that so if it's if it's something that you desired and you live you know you have some adult life to you have been you know i guess late 20s or older and you have not been able to have success in a relationship with the woman then maybe there's something to you know talk about and get you know go further into kind of talk with somebody about it and um, figure out if there's some kind of issue that you need to deal with um, I think when you are you know without that aside I think when you're dealing with women you know it's about understanding them it's all kinds like I said you know I hate to keep talking about it sometimes because it really goes back to waiting and getting to know a person and seeing who they are because there's so much to go into a person how they were raised what they've been around the environment and the things that they've been taught by their family because all of that helps figure out who this person is and whether or not it's a good idea to go ahead forward with the relationship with them they're all kind of women okay so I'm gonna to have to stereotype now because I'm talking about women okay so there is the good girl okay the good girl and I say good girl I'm talking about women of course however the good girl is the woman who she's not out wilding out anywhere she's you know she's probably in church she's probably living a um, a decent lifestyle she's not sleeping around and she's not doing anything outrageous and wild and she lives in a way that is um, respectable quote-unquote for the most part where you wouldn't expect this person this good girl woman to have anything outrageous happen with her so that's the good girl this is the kind of woman that most men uh, say they want uh, in some kind of way. They want the good girl. And not because they really want to be with the good girl, but because they would like someone who can be faithful to them, someone who they don't have to worry about cheating and who is loyal and who can, you know, be in that relationship structure. And um, there's not a lot of issues with the good girl. And at least that's the thought, right? Then there is, let me go to the opposite. Then there's the bad girl. Now the bad girl is the woman who is into whatever she wants to be into, whenever she wants to. She might be, you know, um, 
I don't know if I want to say in her masculine energy, but possibly. But she is not a person who lives by anybody's rules. Um, she may date multiple people, may be in multiple relationships at the same time. She may be doing, doing reckless things. Um, and there's not a box really that you can put the bad girl into except that, you know, it's, it's an unpredictable kind of scenario that you can say for the bad girl. The bad girl sometimes has, you know, a mouth that, you know, some men want to complain about. She's going to tell it like it is. She's going to use language that, you know, maybe not pleasant to people. She's going to curse like a sailor. She, you know, she's going to do whatever she wants to do. And this is the bad girl. All right. And so, um, and it's a lot more to the bad girl. It's just so, it's just a woman who is going to do what she wants to. And um, unlike the quote unquote good girl, she is going to, you know, just do whatever. Right. And so that's the bad girl. Right. And so, and then there is the, the gold digger. Okay. So the gold digger, this is the one I most have to talk about with men, because I think when it comes to men and relationships, the men are usually um, having issues because they've gotten themselves in a, a situation with a gold digger. Now, a gold digger is a woman who is focused on what a man has. Okay, that is her focus. As a person, she may be a good girl or a bad girl. It doesn't really suggest whether she's a good girl or bad girl, but a gold digger is someone who when it comes to a relationship, she's about what you have, and what you can do for her, the amount of money you're gonna make, the amount of status you have, clout you have, those kind of things really matter to the gold digger and not much else. And so you, um, you have to come to her in a certain kind of way where you're going to spend the money, you're gonna buy her things, you're gonna show that you have it and, and this is what the gold digger requires and this is, even without any kind of physical um, relationship involved. And so, again, the, the gold digger can be a good girl or she can be a bad girl. But a gold digger, is what, is, um, what makes her a gold digger is that it's about what you have and what you can do for her. And um, like I said, I talk a lot about this with men because this is what some men don't understand is like, some women are just about what you have and what you can do for them. It, 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 that's it. That's the top priority. Period and point blank. All right. And so um, after that, I'm going to say the religious girl. Now, I'm going to say religious girl is usually in the good girl category. This is a girl who, who goes to church, who is um, very faithful to her religion. And that's what it's about. It's about her and what um who she follows in her faith and and that's it like really she's usually a good girl um i don't know that there i gotta think about that there's not a religious girl that's a bad girl because usually a religious girl is following the text of what religion she follows and um and so that will make her a good girl because all religions have you know have you living righteously and so the good girl is going to be the religious girl but she's going to be involved heavily in church activity she's going to be involved heavily into worshiping she's going to be have a a very heavy prayer life she's going to have a very heavy culture of being around other people who are also into those things and if you're not um into her faith then you might as well not bother because she's not really I mean she may be open-minded however it's about her her faith and her practice and her worship and so you're wasting your time if you don't um, subscribe to the same things because that's what her life is about and so you really um, will wind up you know disappointed um, if you're going after a religious girl and you are not religious yourself. Um, again, she may be open-minded if you're not. However, this is what she's about. 
okay i think those four can kind of say a lot for a lot of women that's not all those are the four categories that i'm going to use right now all right and so women most women it's like all people i don't think it's a woman man thing i think most people want to find someone to share their life with they want a partner even if they don't um, think that they want marriage they want a partner and so when it comes to men who who love women and want to be in a partnership with them like i said the most important thing is to first love women now you have to know yourself and what it is that you want before you go forward with trying to get with one of these women now um i've talked about waiting all of november but it really it really does come back to that um, you can look at my videos to see what i'm talking about but to figure out who you want to be in a relationship with is important now we all have lives to live and sometimes we go about and we don't want to um, we don't want to box ourselves in when it comes to a relationship and sometimes that does a disservice to us you know i can speak for myself um, for example because i have been an open-minded person and in that i haven't restricted myself to only dealing with one type of man and that has bitten me in the butt i mean really hard a couple of times and so you know it depends on you but what i can tell you from my own experience is that it just works out best if you know yourself and then you are particular with what it is that you want and the type of man who can provide it being open-minded is, is great to be open-minded but it it really comes down to wasting your time once again if you deal with people who really aren't for you and i had to learn that the hard way a couple of times and so in order to you know not do that just know yourself know what you want and then go for that now because we're living in this virtual world and i will link one of my videos about virtual and what i think about how to go about virtually it does apply to men as well but in the virtual world there are certain things you have to look out for the number one thing i would say is to make sure that it's progressing because progress will let you know that somebody's interested if you meet somebody and all you do is you know text message each other and that's it then that is somebody that you probably wouldn't have a relationship with that you can you probably call an acquaintance and you know so on and so forth as far as if it's not growing okay um but again knowing yourself know who you are and um first and foremost and then what you want and then go from there all right they're all kind of women and like i said um the one i most have to talk about is the gold diggers because sometimes you all get caught up with the gold digger and i don't know how when it's very easy to know when a woman is a gold digger and so don't um and I think I said this to the women. Don't think that you can go into a relationship thinking that you're going to change somebody. That you and all the things that you're going to bring them is going to make them different. Because that's usually not the case. You can influence someone. Yes, but change comes from the inside. And if a person doesn't want to change, if God doesn't change them, then that person is who they are. And you have to accept that. And so I will tell you that if you know this woman is not your type of woman go ahead and you know be friends with her and then go on and get with somebody who's more um, more to your liking more to what it is that you want more compatible to the things that you want to see as far as a relationship partner is concerned because people try to change people all day long and <laughs> you'll know from everybody's experience that that is not something that is really possible all right um yeah you, people change because they want to change and, and and god changes them all right and so um yeah that's my breakdown about women 
there are all kinds now there are women out here that's doing dirty for to men and you just have to take your time and see what kind of person that this person is because when you get sex involved too soon you can get clouded by who this person is especially if you are enjoying the sex that you've gotten way too soon to see whether you know you even if, if this person is the kind of person that you want to be with and so I, you know everybody has their different uh, qualities about them and the only way to really get to know a person is with time and so good luck for you out there looking for real connections real relationships and that you love women because that is the number one ingredient to get in a woman to you know love you and so once you have that love you go forward and express that love and that is what you will likely receive if you're going after someone who is for you all right all right y'all and so you got any other categories of women let's go ahead and let's talk about it in the comments all right all right y'all and so with that i hope everybody out there is well staying strong on your journey if you're on a journey and whatever a journey you're on staying strong on it because we all are on the journey we may not be on the same journey but we all are on the journey all right y'all so until next time once again love and gratitude